Hello, I'm Landon Schlungen, and today we're going to build a technical documentation page. So we have to make something that's functionally similar to this one right here. So we have our sidebar right here that takes us down to the different sections. And we can scroll through it nice and easily, and there's these code sections here um, that give you information. Today we're going to build something that looks like this, an HTML documentation page. And these bring you down to the right sections. And there's a lot of lorem ipsum text in it, but there's also like these code bodies and yeah, I'm going to show you how to make this. So to get started, just open up Visual Studio Code right here. And then also make sure you open up uh, your live server. To get that, it's just an extension called live server. So just install that and then you'll be able to right click on it and open it with live server. First thing we would want to do is get an exclamation point and then hit tab or enter. And that'll give us our starting markup. I'm actually going to make this smaller. I think maybe it'll be better if it's smaller. OK, there we go. So we're going to name it a uh, technical documentation or technical document. And then we're going to start making this page. So this time I'm going to actually follow the um, user stories on Free Code Camp. Um, so the first thing we want to do is make a nav with a ID of navbar. And then inside there, we'll have a header with a class of navbar header. And then we'll have an H1 that says HTML documentation. And then also inside the nav, we'll have a div of nav links. And then inside there, we'll have five A tags, all with a class of link. So you do A dot link and then times five, and that'll make five of them. And then the hrefs will be introduction, tags, forms, buttons, and DOM. So there we go. We have all of our hrefs, introduction, tags, forms, buttons, and DOM and also their corresponding um, text inside of them. Next thing we want to do is specify our main doc. So we'll do that with a div of main doc. And then inside of that, we'll have a div of main section. And it also has an ID of introduction. There we go. It'll have an H1 of introduction. And then I'm going to copy this down four more times. And then we're going to put tags here, forms here, buttons here, and DOM here, right? So there we go, we got introduction, takes, forms, buttons, and DOM. Next up, we'll work inside the introduction section and we'll have some P tags. You do lorem and then the amount of words that you want. So in this case, I want about 100. So lorem 100 will give me 100 random words. <laughs> well, they're not really even words, they're just a string of characters. <laughs> Underneath that, we'll have another paragraph of another lorem text of so like go 50 this time. And for some reason, it's not showing up. Wow, I just realized that. OK, I guess I just forgot to start the live server up. So now we should be good. And there it is. So we have our, our links and our all of our text. Now we'll put another P of lorem 50, because why not? We'll have another paragraph of an HTML page is defined like this inside of an HTML file. And then underneath that is where we're going to have our first code block. So we want to start with a pre-tag. So this will keep all of its formatting from the actual HTML um, and then we'll do a code tag. I didn't know there was a code tag, but there actually is and its default font family is monospace and that's like the only difference it has. So then inside this code tag we'll do a exclamation point and enter and then what we want to do is we want to make this into the actual text of the tag and to do that we have to escape all of these less than signs and the way we do that is we grab all of them with command D until we hit the code and then we replace it with ambersine LT, so less than, and then semicolon. And there we go. Now it's the actual text. And there's what we just put. So that's it for that section. Now let's go on to the tag section. We'll start with another P of lorem text. We'll go lorem 100 again. And then we'll do another paragraph of some examples of tags. And this is where we'll do another code block. So we'll do pre, then code. And then inside of here, we'll put our different tags examples. So we'll do div, we'll do an h1, we'll do a button, we'll do an image, we'll do form, and that should be pretty good. So just like the other one, grab all the less than signs and then replace it with ambersign less than or LT semicolon. And now it should show up. It's right over my face. And then we'll just add like another P of lorem text underneath. So there we go. Now we'll go on to the form section, add another P of lorem text, lorem 30, P of lorem 30 again, and then we'll do another code block after we do this P of a simple HTML form could be. 
dot 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 and then we'll do the pre and the code again so pre code and then inside of here we'll put a form and then we'll have the a label for name and name and we'll have an input type text and then we'll copy this down a couple times and then for this one we'll do age and this one we'll do password and also make sure the type is password and then we'll grab all the less than signs again with the command D and then replace it with the ampersign less than semicolon and there it is and we'll do another P of 100 texts another P of lorem 100 text and we'll go on to this buttons so we'll do lorem 30 and then we'll do buttons are cool here's an example and then we'll do pre code and we'll put our button in here with an on click event after it says click me do this function and they'll grab these less thans and ambersign less than colon. So there we go, there it is. And then we'll do another lorem text of, I don't know, 100. Next we'll do this DOM part. So DOM stands for Document Object Model. It's kind of what HTML is based on. Um, so we'll start with the ptag, the DOM is, and then we'll have some list items here. So we'll start with an unordered list with some items in it, so li some list items and we are going to do five of these so times by five and then the, the defining document a way to manage data a tree of html tags and the structure of html and the document object model for the dom underneath those list items we'll have a p of lorem 200 this time and then we'll do another p tag the dom tree is nested html tags and then we'll do our pre and code thing again and show off some examples of some nested tags. So in this case we'll do a div, we'll do like three of them. And then inside this div we'll have some couple sections. And then in the section we'll have an h1. And then maybe in this last div we'll have a couple more divs. And this div will have a button in it. And then yeah, we'll grab all the less than signs again. And ambersign less than colon. So there we go. There's our nested tags. And then we'll have one last paragraph of lorem text. And we'll go lorem 150. So there we go. Now let's get to a styling. So first thing we want to do is make sure that we have it linked up. So do our link tag, hrefs of style.css. And now we should be able to work inside of it. First thing we want to do is give a background color to the body. And we'll do F6 all the way across. So just slightly gray. There it went a little gray. And then we'll grab the nav bar and we'll make our nav bar. So it's going to be position fixed, top of zero, left of zero, padding of 30 pixels, width of 300 pixels, height of 100 view height, so that it extends the full length of the page, background color of white. So right now it doesn't look very good, but uh, we'll fix that very quickly. We'll grab the nav links, we'll give them a font size of 20 pixels, display of flex, and a flex direction of column. I was wondering why it wasn't looking very good. It's because this background attachment should actually be background color. There we go. Now it covers it. Now I'll grab each link and I'll give it a text decoration of none so that it's not underlined. We'll give it a color of black, border bottom of one pixel solid gray, and a padding of 10 pixels. So there we go. There's our um, links. Beautiful. We're going to add a hover effect to each link. So I'll go link and then hover and the background color will change to EEE. -E -E. The font weight will change to 700 and it will put a transition on it as well of for the background color of 0.1 seconds ease and out. So there, now we, when we hover over it, we get a nice effect. So that's nice. Next up, we'll grab our main document and we'll give it a margin. Margin left of 400 pixels and a margin right of 20 pixels. So now you'll notice that it doesn't look very good if the screen size is super small, but if I make it big then it looks, it looks, uh, actually, this should actually be a class of main doc. And there we go, now it got pushed over. So it definitely looks better if it's a bigger page. So this is where our media queries come in. So we'll do a media query that has a max width of 1200 pixels. And then we'll grab the nav bar and give it a width of 150 pixels if the screen size is less than 1200. And then we'll also grab the H1, all H1s, and we'll make their font size smaller to 22 pixels. And then we'll also grab the main document, uh, class main document, and we'll lessen the margin on them. We'll go 50 pixels, no, 
we'll actually do, uh, we'll put a margin left of less, of 250 pixels. So there we go, shift it over when it, the, it's small, but then once it get, gets big again, then it moves over. So that is perfect. Next up, we'll grab each of our main, main sections, and we'll give a mar margin of 50 pixels on the X and Y, or 50 pixels on the Y, and zero pixels on the X. So now they're spaced out better. Now we'll grab our code part, and we'll make it a display of block, text align of left, white space pre, position relative, background color of white. We'll go a line height of three, so that the lines are spaced out. So there we can already see it's looking better. And then we'll add a border radius to it, so it doesn't have sharp corners of 10 pixels. And we'll give it a padding of 10 pixels as well. So there we go, we got our code sections complete. They are off the page if the line is long, which is annoying, but I don't really know what to do about that. We'll grab our P tag, we'll give it a line height of 1.5 rem. We'll grab our font family, and we'll make it Arial for our paragraphs. So it's always good to change up the fonts. We'll grab our H1 tag, and we'll give it a different font family as well. And this one will be Lucidia Sans. There we go. And I think that's about it. That's all this document page does. Oh, actually, one more thing. Up on top here, we want to have a smooth scroll when we hit these um, different links. So to do that, we just do HTML. We grab the HTML and we do scroll behavior. Smooth. So now when we go through this, it smoothly scrolls to the next section. So that is pretty epic if you ask me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching me make this. Uh, let me know if you learned anything new. Next up, we're going to build a personal portfolio web page. Yeah, that should be fun. It'll be functionally similar to this one. So right here they have a smooth scroll on as well. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just one last look at the code all the lorem text, and also at the CSS. Not too much CSS this time, so that's nice. And with that, I will see you later, so. All right, thanks for watching, bye.